Yeah, tell us about that massage you got the other day. So you came to Thailand. You're training Muay Thai. Of yeah. course, you got to get a massage. I've did. So I've, you take Mark's advice, and then oh, you no, go no, get no, a massage. No. And then well, what happened yes. again? Yes and no. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, <laughs> I showed him to a nice elderly lady. Oh, did who you? was no ninety eight percent professional. Let's, I would let's, assume. Uh, let's 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 start from the beginning. First of all, we went and had sushi. All right, and you don't eat fish. That's which I really appreciate the fact that you took me to get sushi. Well, it, I really even took Jackie, but but Jackie don't even like fish either. She does. Just not that fucking weird shit you ordered. Which what salmon? Uh, octopus wrapped squid with eel and eel, toenails. Eel I don't know. is it's fucking delicious. disgusting. Eel is delicious. I think nothing on there. It looked mm. like bait. So, wait, wait, so I told so I told my man I was like, hey, hey, Mark, I, I like to go get a massage around here. I just went to another massage a few days ago and they overcharged me and, and I didn't like it. It was just, it felt like they were just throwing rice at me. It was just really like, it was just like that. Like a wedding day? Yeah, no, it was just like, you know, like when they grab like, you know, like rice pudding and they just kind of go like this and that's, that's, that's all it was. Where the fuck did you go? Don't worry about my analogy. Like that was a okay. restaurant. So you at least two, two but, crazy experiences. Let's hear about the second one. First. We'll go back to this rice you felt that pudding one. party. You felt that one. Uh, and so we go, you know, we go into this, you know, the first one was great. You know, she take me to this place, Kim's, and it was awesome. The lady broke my back. It was great. The second time I went. You went without my advice. Emphasis on lady. Let's just. The yeah. first one was a lady. The lady. An older lady, which I like because older ladies just, they just know. They know the body. They know how to work you. And I'm sure they've been doing it for a while. And then I, and I go again, same place. And then I, I get paired with a dude. And I, for me, I like, I like the fact that. Hold up. <laughs> How did that happen, though? You walk in, and I say, and there's I'll, ladies there, and you're just like, ah, I'll take I'll, this guy. No, I show up, and I say, I like a sports massage, mm -hmm. and then the guy said, follow me, and I was like, okay, a guy. I've had sports therapists who who were <laughs> guarantee that dude doesn't even work there. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, David. He's I like, got you. He probably just nurse. followed me. He probably he probably followed me right behind the door. He's like, oh, this guy. This guy looks like he'll pay some good money. Was he wearing like a like a bright like fluorescent jacket? Like no, maybe it was, a taxi, it was, like a motorbike a red, taxi. He looked like a like a like a stop sign. He looked Jeans, like a red stop yeah, sign. He's the motorbike taxi. Yeah, probably. You, I don't know. <laughs> he was just. He, I know he had an earring. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had an earring on. Where? So I was like, well, I there you go. There, there you. That, that makes sense now. But then he comes and you know, I was like. I've had masseuse therapists who are men, and they're actually really good because they're very strong with their hands. And so, Mark, I'm tired of bullshit right now. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. And so, second of all, he gives me a foot massage. It's good. All right, cool. Go to the top floor, and then uh, he's like, you know. Uh, a, hold up. It's a different level. Yeah, they took you to a different room. So yeah, well, yeah. Well, because, you, you know, you get the foot massage in the first floor with, like, the seats, and then he takes you to the second floor. So we're private is, area. Private area, Ooh. which is the same one where the lady took me. So I didn't see anything different, anything sketchy. So it takes me to the top floor. And uh, and I noticed the room was a little bit smaller. And it was like, and it was like, so you have these two areas, right? You have an area where the lady took me, which is like, you go up and it's more like two beds per room. But he took me to the left, which is like, as soon as we made to the left, before we started going up the stairs, there was like people passed out on the floor and like another person doing laundry. So I was like, all right, this is a little You went long. home with the guy. No, no, no. Did I, he hold your hand? He took I could you have, I, it kind of felt like I was going through like their neighborhood or like some kind of like okay, rest area. Like, was the theme from Titanic playing? And that's not a joke because every massage parlor plays that. Yeah, no, but I, I heard so you I heard, I heard they love Celine Dion here. Yeah, who doesn't? I'm okay with her. But she, so we so we go to the top and he's like, you know, okay. So I get in my I get on my underwear and you know I lay on my back and at first he covers me and and he starts kind of you know oiling up my legs and it starts with the leg and and he, and, and it's so he's so tender and I was like, dude, can you go harder? <laughs> you met him on yes. Tinder? Yeah. No, he's tender. Tender. Oh, tender. tender. He was like, you know, no, 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 no. He, he, he was too soft. He was too soft. And I was like, dude. And I was like, can you go harder? And he was like, okay. And and he wasn't going harder. And I was like, okay. And I, I usually I think about it this way. When everyone gives gives a massage, I allow them to figure out what they're doing. Maybe they're just working the body in first, and then they'll go harder. I've had that before. Yeah. So I let him for another ten minutes, and I was like, all right, dude. Like, I literally pressed my thumb on the bed, and I was like, hard. And he's like, oh, okay. Did it for like two minutes forgot about it continue just stroking my leg all right goes on the next leg goes my arm goes the other one tells me to flip over when he tells me to flip over doesn't cover me he just lets me bare i wasn't fully butt naked but i was in my underwear so you were facing up or down I was facing up 
So you're facing up and you're just completely. I'm, I'm just in my underwear, but like usually they cover you and then they expose the limbs they're about to yeah, work yeah. on you. So I'm, I'm sitting there. And, I mean, I'm laying there and this dude just starts going at it and he's not going hard. But then he starts. I guarantee I was I was face I was face up for about maybe a good 35 minutes. I'd say 25 minutes. He focused in between my thighs and my and my abdominals, and I mean like he was just here, right? And it was almost like he was trying to challenge me to say, "Hey, buddy, wake up." <laughs> but he and I can and and I knew I knew he was challenging me when he actually picked up my underwear and he went under it right but obviously didn't touch me but he went under it and he put his hand right there and i just thought oh this this dude's this is trying to go for it but you know what <laughs> why is there a but anything at this point well you know what i like i said this was just me thinking there has to be a reason for why he's doing it maybe he's gonna hit a certain nerve or something like i didn't doubt it and and then my, I remember my 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 my, uh, my towel being like this, you know, I was covering my face, and the towel was little by little kind of popping up like this, and I just kept thinking like, please don't fall off, please don't fall off, because this is the only thing that's protecting me from this 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 moment of me kind of overthinking it, and maybe I was thinking maybe this I think this dude is is, is trying to get an extra tip or something, but thankfully never got to that point. I was, I was, I'm happy to say that. Uh, that's, I know it's your, one of your first experiences like that, but that's probably pretty standard here. Yeah, you know what? Uh, this And I, I, I was literally like waiting because obviously I'm here to get a massage. I, you know, I don't, first of all, I don't do strip clubs and I don't do like those places. It, yeah. just, it just weirds me out. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that this dude was kind of touching the line and really made me think like, okay, uh, my hand was on, like was up and it was ready. It was just like ready to be like, you know and he didn't do it and so when I, I got dressed up and i sat down and i was thinking like man i was i was almost near violated i was sitting there close call and then the guy was just looking at me right there in front of me and he brings the tea out and and i felt i felt like i was like okay he did his job though. he did his job you know he's trying to feed his family would you go back not to him did you get a tip i did you i did. tipped him i gave him 100 bucks oh wow i did because you know what he didn't a part of me was like, ah, oh, maybe I'm just overthinking it. But another part of me was like, I wasn't. He, he was, he was going for it. But is that is that normal? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Don't ask Marcus. Yeah, because Marcus. That, 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 that normal line gets really blurred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 